We Americans have so much for which to be thankful. Peace is another thing for which we can say a prayer of gratitude over the dinner table on Thursday. Peace and abundance in this land that God has kissed. We will give thanks for these and one thing more, our freedom. Yes, in America, freedom seems like the air around us. It's there, it's a sweet, though we rarely give it a thought. Yet, as the air fills our lungs, freedom fills our souls. It gives breath to our laughter and joy. It gives voice to our songs. It gives us strength as we race for our dreams. Think of those around the world who cannot bow their heads in prayer without risking their lives. Think of those countries where to write an honest word or even to own a child's simple toy printing press is a crime. Think of how many countries where to dream of striking out on your own and starting a business is to take a chance not on a better life for yourself and your children, but on a long stay in a prison cell. And then think of how blessed we are to be Americans. Yes, as we gather together this Thanksgiving to ask the Lord's blessings, as we, of whatever faith we are, give praises to His name, let us thank Him for our peace, prosperity, and freedom. Yes, the family is the bedrock of our nation but it is also the engine that gives our country life. And it's the reason that we produce. It's for our families that we work and labor so that we can join together around the dinner table, bring our children up the right way, care for our parents, and reach out to those less fortunate. It is the power of the family that holds the nation together, that gives America her conscience, and that serves as the cradle of our country's soul. Those early Americans who gave us Thanksgiving Day itself had to help each other in order to survive, joining together to plant crops, build houses, and raise barns. And perhaps they discovered that in helping others, their own lives were enriched. In our own day, a poll showed most Americans believe that no matter how big government gets, and no matter how many services it provides, it can never take the place of volunteers. In other words, we Americans understand that there are no substitutes for gifts of service given from the heart. But it's good to reflect that here in America, perhaps more than any other nation on earth, we have a tradition of giving, of neighbor helping neighbor, that makes life better for tens of thousands every day. And for this too, on Thanksgiving Day, let us give thanks. The past few days, when I've been at that window upstairs, I've thought a bit of the shining city upon a hill. The phrase comes from John Winthrop, who wrote it to describe the America he imagined. What he imagined was important because he was an early pilgrim, an early freedom man. He journeyed here on what today we'd call a little wooden boat. And like the other pilgrims, he was looking for a home that would be free. I've spoken of the shining city all my political life, but I don't know if I ever quite communicated what I saw when I said it. But in my mind, it was a tall, proud city built on rocks stronger than oceans, windswept, God-blessed, and teeming with people of all kinds living in harmony and peace. A city with pre-ports that hummed with commerce and creativity. And if there had to be city walls, the walls had doors and the doors were open to anyone with the will and the heart to get here. That's how I saw it and see it still. Happy Thanksgiving, and until next week, thanks for listening, and God bless you.